Please join me in welcoming the Fall 2002 UL Lafayette alum and the Spring 24, 2014 commencement speaker, Mr. Charles Tilton. tear us down. To sum it all up, just how important words are, words create worlds. And what a blessing it would be today in some small way if my words could help you create a new world. Now words can't create themselves, nor, let me say that again, words can't create themselves by themselves. You have to act on your words. Back in 2003, I took a, uh, I took a trip to uh, Champaign. Our, our, they made our rookies go down to Champaign. And you know, I'm thinking like, why am I here? This is boring, I don't wanna do this. And it was probably one of the best life lessons I've ever learned. And we were given the task to uh, memorize a mantra. And I've lived my life by this mantra. Basically, it goes like this. Learning is the beginning of health, wealth, future and fortune. You can multiply your life by two, by three, by five, by 10, if you don't neglect to learn. I take great pride in knowing that I try to learn something every year that I'm in the NFL. And what I take from that phrase or that quote, I don't care how old you are, you can always learn something new. Um, 33 years old, and I'm in graduate school right now. Hopefully next year I'll be doing I'll be doing what you guys are doing to graduate. Oh. I'm always trying to learn something new, and I inspire you guys to do the same. Now, the message that I want to leave you guys with today is making your mark. Now, everyone can interpret that a new way, a different way. In my opinion, my mark. To me, that means to be bold, to stand out, and not to be afraid, and to do something, and take a chance, and risk something. Now, there's three types of characteristics that I believe we all have, and something that we've all learned to make a mark. The first, I think you all have learned when you had a young age, the first is competition. I think competition brings out the best in everybody. I think you find out who you really are and what you're made out of when you compete. The second one is teamwork. You learn about being selfless. You learn about giving it up, putting your life on the line, or really not life, but putting it on the line for somebody else. You learn about what it takes to, when you get knocked down, to pick yourself back up. And third, as an athlete, we learn what's next. After a game, good or bad, win or lose, you go back to that locker room and you always wonder what's next. You guys, once you get your degrees, your diplomas, you're gonna walk out those doors and step into the world, real world and you're gonna wonder what's next. After that, the mental toughness comes into play. I'll call it the strangest secret. Now to me, the strangest secret is we become what we think about. Now what does that actually mean? So if you were to take corn, nightshade, deadly poison, you compare that to some farmland. Dig two holes, one corn, one nightshade, cover it up, water, put water on it, give it sunlight, and 
invariably the same thing will happen. The land will return what is planted. Good or bad, your mind works the same exact way. Good thoughts, bad thoughts, your mind will always return what you plant. Now what I take from that side is a pagao. A pagao is what I call a powerful group of words. That's my own little acronym. I, I got all these crazy little acronyms that I do, right? So yeah, pagao, a powerful group of words. Now, for me, for me to get into a zone when I'm playing in front of 100,000, 60,000, Monday night football, whatever it is, my pagao is the score. And for me, the score is, and I, I use this, I'm giving you all my tips. These, these are tips I use for every single game for the last 11 years. I get a call from my mentor, his name's John Wright. He calls me about 9.30 every Saturday night, I kid you not. And he goes, all right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, S-C-O-R-E, S, self-discipline. This is something that you have to do, habits, rituals, you have to pay the price. C, concentration. This is intense focus. Keeping your eye on the prize, keeping your eye on the target. You can't hit your target if you take your eye off. Oh, optimism. No negative self-talk. Despite what, no matter what happens, you always have to be optimistic and positive about whatever's going on. Or relax. You can't get in the zone if you're tight. And eat. Enjoyment. That's just really just having fun. Some people believe you have to be famous, wealthy, or influential or to be memorable. The people who inspire me the most are the ones that follow their passions in life and strive to help others. I hope I can be an inspiration to others by walking my talk. And lastly, anybody seen the movie The Gladiator? Raise your hand, show of hands. Gladiator, great movie, right? So, in the movie, The Gladiator, Maximus, he says, at my signal, unleash hell. Well, I think we already have enough hell on earth, right? So, as a proud alumnus, at my signal, I'll say, unleash yourself. Thank you.